Um, good day, um, people. Welcome to my channel, Simple Cooking with Eric. I'm your host, your personal chef, Eric Brown. And today we're going to be making butter cookies. Um, this cookie that I've been making for over 40 years since I was in freshman in high school back in Chicago, Illinois. I went to Finger Academy and I worked in the lunchroom and I learned this butter cookie recipe. And a lot of people have made this uh, butter cookie throughout the year, but I tweaked it a little to make it a little, uh, make it a little of my own. And um, it, it's a lot of history with this uh, cookie dough that I'm going to make for you. I have a friend of mine that I gave her the recipe back in like 1992. And this young lady has been making a living by baking this butter cookie and selling it into in the community um so maybe uh in the future the near future i get a chance to bring her over to my kitchen and let her show the different variations that she makes with this cookie dough but to get started what you're going to need you're going to need four cups of all-purpose flour you're going to need some vanilla extract uh two teaspoons of vanilla extract one cup of granulated sugar a uh, half a teaspoon of salt and over here in the mixing bowl we have a pound of salt and butter so listen we're going to get ready to get started but before we get started let me say this to you all out there um i've been cooking for almost i'm 51 years old so i've been cooking maybe 41 uh, years since i was like eight or nine years old and um, this cookie dough has helped me to pay for uh, high school graduation, um, prom, and throughout my life, throughout the year, it has supplement, helped me supplement my income. I'm telling you all, you learn how to make this cookie dough, and you can put this cookie dough on the market, and it, I'm telling you, it will make, um, make a good little uh, supplement income for you. So let's get started. So over here in this bowl, we're going to get ready. We're going to put our uh, powder attachment on, and we're going to cream our pound of butter and a cup of sugar. And we're going to cream it for about uh, maybe four minutes. Uh, maybe, maybe about four minutes. So. We're going to cream this, and I'll get back to you. So after, you know, this is a little after two minutes. After two minutes, you want to stop your mix, and you kind of want to scrape your bowl down, because uh, you want to get real creamy and fluffy, as you can see. And I'm telling you all, this, this is a, a butter cookie. Everybody in Chicago that went to Chicago Public School can definitely tell you about this uh, cookie dough. And uh, and if you follow the recipe, I tell people all the time, people say, oh, Eric, how do you make this? How do you make that? And I give them the recipe, and then they do what they want to do. They say, oh, well, well, I made it with wheat flour. Well, you ain't going to get the same result. Oh, well, I added an egg. Well, you're not going to get the same result. If you follow the recipe, I guarantee you, I make these butter cookies all the time, you will get the same result. So we're going to continue to let this um, cream and fluff. And while we're letting that cream and fluff, we're going to prepare ourselves and uh, we're going to uh, get our two uh, teaspoons of vanilla extract. And this is uh, real uh, vanilla. I gotta make sure I'm giving you the right measurement. I can't see good without my glasses. Man, give or take a little. And then also, folks, I'm gonna tell you, this is my uh, uh, homemade vanilla that I'm making. I'll do maybe in the future I will do a um, a demonstration on how to make your own vanilla. Also, what I add to mine, I also add a teaspoon of butter flavor. So, we have that. And, um, 
Man, 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 man. So, I'm going to turn this down a little lower. I'm going to uh, scrape it down some. You know what, people? Let me let me stop this. You know, I'll tell you something about life. You know, one thing about life, if you are talented, you know, I went to cooking school. I went to several, I went to a private cooking school, then I went to like a couple of non cooking schools. Never graduated from any one of them. Went to cooking school and I thought I knew everything and, you know, um, play. I was having a good time back in the 80s and the 90s. I thought life was about good time and, you know, but the older I got, I learned. But I tell you, um, I learned how to cook um, from my mom and dad, you know, uh, and I was selling food and cookies and cakes and things back when I was 10 years old. Always was on trying, how can I make money? Was always on the, the how to make money. And, uh, you know, the old saying that your gift will make money for you if, if you tell it enough and if it's a God-given gift, that it will make room for you, you know, and I just learned that I don't mind sharing my gift and sharing the things and the knowledge that I have learned because it never was my recipe. You know, yeah, some people, oh, I don't give my recipe out, but why not? You know, someone gave it to me, so I'm going to give it to you all. So we're going to continue let that clean and we're going to prepare our flour. And um, I'm going to add a half a teaspoon to the flour. So I need that half a teaspoon. I'm going to kind of whisk it in there. And now I'm going to sift it into this bowl before I add it to our butter mixture. So let me sift this and I'll get back to you. Uh, welcome back, boss people. You know, I'm your personal chef, Eric. Coming back with you with the finished uh, cookie dough, and as you see, the texture and it's a, it's a, it's kind of like it's not sticky at all. So what we're going to do, we're going to lightly uh, spray this pan. I got a, I think it's about a, I don't even know what size cookie scoop this is to be honest. They don't need me lying, but I got like it looked like a tablespoon uh, size. Uh, cookie scoop and what I'm going to do I'm going to just take and, and you notice when I take I scrape against the side of the bowl so you know like I said you all man you know um you know like especially if you're a young person you need a little side job you can't get a little side job you can make, maybe make these cookies up, man, and sell them. But well, that's what I did. And you know, my only thing, you know, make sure that you be very clean. You know that your, your environment is clean, and that you keep you wash your hands, and you know. But you know, and um, here in Illinois, right now, I live in Indiana, but in Illinois, they have what they call the cupcake law, and that means that anyone can sell baked goods out of their home without being taxed, without reporting it to IRS or anything. So uh, you can sell up to $1,000 a month. So if you make anything under $1,000 for the month, you don't have to report it. And I'll tell young people or housewives, single people, if you need to supplement your income, even need an income, it's all, it's, it depends on how hard you work, that you can make this dough up and you can sell, and I'm going to show you how you can, let me, uh, Wash my hands right quick. Cause I gotta touch. It. I gotta actually. Um, but you can make you can make this uh, cookie dough up, and you can package it kind of. And I'm telling you, you can make you a little mint. Like I said, I got a friend that makes over. She makes about 500. She told me about. She averaged about 500 um, dollars a week selling these cookies. But she hustles. She says it's a hustle, but. She does it. And I'm telling you, people, I just believe that God give all of us 
talents and gifts and, and they're to be shared. And then also, sometimes we just have to tell people, listen, this is how you can do it. I had to learn the hard way, but this is how you do it. So we got our scoops now. And what I'm going to do is just take the back of my hand. And I'm going to just put a little indention. And this is how they do You know, you might not want to do this. You might want to take, uh, you know, take my hands are kind of wet. Take, you, you might want to flatten it out with a with a spatula or something. But just flat them now. And so we're going to put these in the oven. We're going to bake these at 350 for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes. And I'll be back with the finished product. I'm getting ready to put these in the oven. Now listen, people, the funny thing about me, you know, everything is always, life is uh, so funny. Now my, my, my oven on my stove don't work. I, I put the oven on self-cleaning, and I don't know if I burnt it out or something happened. Well, I only can use the top part of my uh, stove. My oven is locked. And so, I don't know. I tried to see if it for fuse or something. I got to try to get it fixed. But thank God that I got this little tabletop convection of it. And so, we're going to put it in here. And people say, man, how you a baby ain't got an oven, you know? But you gotta do what you gotta do. When I'm finished, I will get back to you. That's my granddaughter in the background. But listen, we're gonna we're gonna see how these cook these um turn out and uh uh hold it, hold it. There, focus on that face. Okay. I'm going to show you, when we finish, you know, I'm going to show you how I package them in, in these little cookie bags. And, and listen, like I say, you can put them in here and then you can get your cell on and maybe put your little logo or sticker on here. But I'm telling you, you can do what you got to do and you can make a, a living doing it. Hope you can hear me. And you know, hey, you can't control with the kids hollering and all that. Like I said, I don't want to be ghetto, but it's just like everyday living. Um, you know, uh, you know. Hopefully, you all like this um, video. And uh, like I said, the next time I'm gonna show you how to make a quick and easy peach cobbler, and you could do it. I can show you a way where you can use store bought crust and canned peaches, and then maybe in the future I'll show you how you can actually take fresh peaches or frozen pieces and make the stuff and everything but that's the next video so see you in the soon the cookie gets done i'll come back and show you the finished product all right folks we see that our cookies are ready they've been baking for around 15 minutes you see they're a nice golden brown color we're gonna set them over here and put them on a cooling rack and once they cool we will taste them and i will give you the result like I said, your personal chef, Eric, coming back with the finished product. As you see, they're nice golden brown, you know. And uh, and also, I was telling you how if you want to do as a fundraiser for your church, you want to make your little extra cash on the side or whatever. Like I said, in Illinois, they got the cupcake law. So you could bake these and bag them up like I had in these bags. Put your little label on. You even got to put a label. Maybe put sell six for five dollars. That's what I do. Now let's see. Look at look how nice it is to have brown. And look how could you hear it snap? Let's see. I tell you, if you follow the recipe, do it exactly like I told you, you will get these results. They are very good. They're sweet enough, they're not too sweet, they're crunchy. They're not doughy and not, uh, you can't taste it. They're not flour. They are very good. So I encourage you to make this recipe. Thanks. Until next time, be blessed.